Hi, I'm Steve Mitchell. I'm a graduate from the Department of Economics uh, from 1997. And I am the uh, self-awareness guy, so if you see a few of my videos, it's very much kind of softer, fluffier things. And uh, the, the topic I want to talk about today is self-confidence. And, uh, you know, what is self-confidence? How do you get more self-confidence? Uh, a lot of you are close to graduating, or maybe you're looking at internships or applying for a study abroad or things of that nature uh, and you're new in life in a lot of ways which can just because you're new at something can make you maybe feel less confident about uh, where you are. So I'm, I have five things I want to talk about uh, and the first one is really if you lack some self-confidence and you, you're the kind of person that wants to be more confident the first thing you have to do is just decide to do it. There's, there's nothing that you need there's no you know, job interview you need or, or job offer that you need or a certain grade that you need or anything like that. This is Self-confidence is very much an internal thing. So it's, it's, it sounds very simple, uh, but really just starting with that, I'm going to decide to do it. Uh, two is what I would call uh, integrity and sort of aligning yourself with understanding who you are and how you present yourself to the world. Uh, if, if you are trying to be something in a search, excuse me, a situation that uh, is not really you, but it's more about you trying to impress someone, uh, you're you're going to feel less confident. So think about uh, being more authentic. Is what I'm saying. Uh, the next one is around this idea of I mentioned being new at something. There's an idea of being competent and how being competent, the more you're competent at something, the more confidence you're going to be. So this is more about just giving yourself the, you know, forgive yourself a little bit. It's okay that you're maybe not confident. You're maybe new at a lot of things. So be okay with that. The last thing that, uh, last couple things. One is, is momentum. So maybe you're not great at networking, or maybe you're not great at, you know, how to interview, or maybe you're not great at whatever it is. If you s allow yourself to stay stuck in that situation, you're never going to advance and you're never going to, again, go back, going back to competence, you're never going to get competent in something because you haven't actually created some momentum towards something. And the reality is the fear of whatever it is that you might be afraid of is always greater than the actual, you know, what's really going to happen. At the end of the day, typically, not a lot. So the last one is community. So I, I would just suggest that think about the people in your lives that make you feel good, valued, important, all of those things. I'm not saying go, you know, unfriend a bunch of people, but think about the kinds of people you're spending your time with. Uh, you know, they say that you are the average of the, the closest five people in your life. So I, I would say two things about that. One, think about those five people. Make sure they're people that you really want to be like. Uh, and two, remember that if you're one of someone else's five, you have a lot of influence in their life too. So... That's what I got. Thank you. I hope it's help helpful.